Hey Dan Pierce with Single Dad Laughing. As you can see, I am sitting in the middle of 10,000 boxes. Uh, I am just about done packing up my house. Uh, we'll be moving in a few days here. Anyways, as I've packed everything up, I've found all sorts of places that I've stashed the free things that people send me. Some of it is awesome. Some of it, I, I don't get it, to be honest, but uh, anyways. One of the best parts of being a blogger is that people do send you free stuff. So today I wanted to share the kind of stuff that people send me. Enjoy. This is an example of something awesome. If you're a company that makes awesome toys like this, send me more free stuff because Noah loves it. IKEA sent me these. It's like a giant strawberry bug. And this is a cute little reindeer dog with a mouse on his back. And this is a cute little puppet that too small for my hand. Hello! Um, yeah. Thanks, Ikea. From Boutique Jewels, a pink cashmere blanket. I've never owned anything cashmere. I I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, to be honest. Toprikin, Toprison, Top to Toprison. Some sort of ointment that makes you feel better in your joints and I don't know. But they have a kid version. So that's good. Reminds me of this time when I had tennis elbow and I put some Bengay on my elbow and then I went to the bathroom without washing my hands. I don't recommend it. Now this is cool. It's like a bulletproof case for my iPad. Uh, I'll probably never use it because Noah is uber careful with my iPad anyway. Okay, try not to get uber jealous when you see the next thing I got. Has to do with the last thing I got. That's an iPad. I feel a need to confess that Apple did not send me that iPad. I had to pay hard cash for it. In fact, I have a cousin who's like some bigwig over at Apple, and I told him I wanted a free one, and he just laughed at me. They don't care about me at all. This is interesting. It's a bracelet inside of a plastic binder that has 12 pages of why this bracelet is so cool. Whoa! Big points go to Glow for sending me the coolest night light you could ever put in a kid's bedroom. I've been waiting till we get to the new house to put this in Noah's bedroom, because I think he's really gonna like it. I think it'll make him feel cozy and at home in his new bedroom. He keeps asking me to open it, because it's awesome. Now, I'll be honest. Somebody sent me an email, told me all about what's next, this shirt. And I can't find the email, and it's a pretty cool shirt, and I'm probably gonna wear it anyway because I want people to think that I saved a life. Nini sent me a toy bungee and a pacifier clip. I just love baby stuff because it fills up my garbage really quick. Okay, now we're humming. Shake it up. Contents, 24 handshake puzzle cards. Three in one game instructions. Here's what the back says. We believe there's something very special between a grandparent and grandchild that ought to be recognized, celebrated. This is for grandmas and grandpas. I know some people make it there by 30, but not me. All right, Mabel, wherever you are, you beautiful woman. Thank you for these labels. Mabel from Mabel's Labels sent me Lots of cute labels, 
with Noah's name all over them. Now, Orbeez, the awesome people who sent me that awesome Exploders gun for Noah also sent me these. I don't really know what they're for. People keep coming over looking at them and saying, what is that? And I say, I don't know. Now these little guys are just cute. Egg pods. There's a little girl bod, a little fireman bod, and a little pirate bod. So that when you have a case of the Mondays, they turn into Tuesdays. This is not that exciting to look at, but I'm kind of excited to try it. It's from Earpiece. And supposedly they are uh, earplugs that you can adjust how much sound comes in. And I always hate when I go to concerts and I can't hear anything because the music is so loud. But I don't want to plug my ears because then I can't hear anything. So hopefully these work. I'm not giving these my official endorsement until I try them. And they're awesome. Um, wiki sticks. Rainbow packs. I have tried to figure out what the hell these things are. What anybody would use them for. And why they are more fun than a toy. Thanks, Panga Surf. You know I love surfing, and I am the poster child for surfing. It's like a glove. So every once in a while I get something really weird. I open a box and this fell out. Printed piece of paper and this. Okay, this one just weirded me out because somebody sent me these t-shirts that say Adoption Rocks. When I first opened it, and there was a little one for Noah, I always like when people send stuff for Noah, I read it as Abortion Rocks. I'm like, why would I want to put that on my kid? And I threw these in a corner and I was like, that's just wrong. Then I found it when I was moving and I'm like, oh, Adoption Rocks. I was like, yeah, adoption does rock. So we'll probably wear these proudly. Buddha smells my pizza. Nyx sent me lice treatment. I don't give you the pal. Thanks, Nix. Come here. Come here. Come get it. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Come here. Come here. Oh, you're a good boy. Buddha digest that pizza and tries not to have a heart attack. I'm just gonna go over a few of the books that people send me. This one's interesting. The Maxims of Manhood presents Man Libs. Fill in the fun for real blank men. You hold the door for her. Period. Whether it's a car door, hotel door, restaurant door, and even brace yourself. Whether she's cute or blank. I filled in the adjective. I can't tell you what it says. I actually love this book, What Not To Say. I've had it on my toilet for the last two months. And it's by Sarah McLachlan. Not Sarah McLachlan, who we all love. Sarah McLachlan. And I recommend it. Did you see what hurts your kids when you say it? I don't get this one. Be a pop star. It's really intense, but it's like it was written for six-year-olds. Man words. <clears throat> Walkie talkies. Watts. Wedgies. Let's flip to another section. Milkshake. Muffin top. That's handy. A roll of fat that pushes up a, and over a a pair of pants or skirt that is too tight. Those words aren't coming out right. Nympho... never mind. 
101 offline activities to do with your kids. Number 53, museum scavenger hunt. Number 26, go boating. Number 74, sink or swim. I love to sink or swim with Noah. More man lips. More man words. Ooh, homework. Okay. Monday is one day. Um, this book was interesting. I kind of like the pictures more than anything. This one is kind of funny. The Klutz Guide to the Gal Galaxy. Okay. And it has all sorts of fun things, and neat pictures, and gadgets, and doohickeys. And it makes science fun, because I always hated science. And it's about time it was fun. This one is flipping awesome. Sesame Street's B for Baking. And Noah and I, when we get to the new house, we're gonna hit every single recipe. This one, the Wolves of Flint Lock. The Wolves of, Wolves of Gun Flint Lake. Okay, now this one, I love because I love cookies. The Ultimate Cake Mix Cookie Book. It's a cookie cookbook of cookies that you make with a box of cake mix. I hope they're good. This one, I'm sorry, I'm showing it to you a little late, but next Halloween, there are some kick butt face mask paintings in there. Awesome book number two. Spongebob cookbook. Now this one, I don't know if it's as cool as the Sesame Street one, because it's like just random stuff that you make every day, but they just like put Spongebob characters next to it and call it a Spongebob recipe, you know? But I think it'll make cooking more fun with Noah. <clears throat> this one would be really cool if I was a giant geek, or if I was a giant her geek. The Lego Super Book, oh, the Lego Ideas Book, Unlock Your Imagination. It has all sorts of cool ideas that you can make with logos. The only thing I want with logos, and I know it's possible because I've been to Legoland, is a replica of me holding my kid on my shoulders. I would be willing to pay up to $100 for that. <clears throat> and this one is really cool. It's called Curious Critters. And it has spectacular photography of really creepy, crawly, weird animals. Um, like this pink Katie did. Ever seen one of those? I didn't think so. Recommended, for sure. I know I loved it. And that is the pile of crap that I found while I was moving. Uh, I think most of it will go to other people who need extra crap in their lives because I have enough crap to deal with.